Hello everybody, it's Terry here at Hidden Hollow Loft. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Yay me, all right. First off, there's them two. Hey little guys. Excuse the mess, it's almost time for me to sweep this up and get all these pellets out of here. They've done a really great job. Um, only places I had to scrape are like ledges like this, like that ledge right there. And maybe up there on top of this, but other than that, these these pellets have done a great job on keeping my floor clean. Scraping is a real pain in the butt, but with these pellets, basically all I have to do is get in here and sweep it up, just take a shovel, get everything out of here, and I believe, I believe, I can throw all this stuff in my fire pit down there and burn it, and that's a quick way to get rid of it because I don't see no other way. But anyway, let's let's get to what's really going on in here today. So, I started off with 10 birds. Oh, look at that. Oh, I started off with 10 birds. Breeding season. It took them a little while because they were young, I hope. I think that was the reason, and it just took them a little while to get going. But since they got going, this brown one right here, I don't know what color you would call it. I, told, I was told by my buddy Daryl it was a mealy. Maybe you can shine some insight on that and let me know what you think. <clears throat> I'm looking for his nest mate, which is right there. The blue check. See the yellow band? I didn't have no year bands, and since I'm not racing, no big. But this one's got a yellow band, and his nest mate right there on the right, the right hand side is, is the nest mate. They got yellow bands. My buddy Daryl did a really nice thing, gave me two young solid whites. Two young solid whites he hatched this year. They've never been out of loft. Then you've got two others over here that got some blue in them. They were a white, a white pigeon with a blue bar, I believe it was, or a blue check. But they were really good pigeons. And so I took 10 plus the four whites is 14. Well, let's do the math. Then there's these two, these two on the floor. That's 16. Then there's the two that keep hiding back here behind the feed barrel. It's 18. Then there's the two I just counted. Was that 20, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 15, 16, 16. That's 20. But just to be on the bright side, this one here, as of yesterday, she just asked me two more. So that's 22. She's got this going on right here. I just fed them a little while ago. But anyway, today was a pretty good day. Had some good things happen. Got a lot of things going on here. We're looking at having a having a building built out here for our kennel, our kennel uh, business. We're getting ready to start with German Shepherds and boarding and some other things. Got a lot going on out here. I don't want to get too detailed in with anything else like the garden or the yard or anything else like that. Just wanted to let you know, even when it gets hard, you don't give up, you keep pushing. I'm sitting on 22 birds, maybe 24, and maybe 26 at these hatch. Hey, I'll be happy with that. For a while, anyway. I mean, I got some really nice homers. Really good looking homers. Now that I got these right here, I'm really proud of the fact, and like I said, there's there's my baby. And the me and the wife were in Martinsburg today, and we were stuck in traffic. We we're actually underneath of an overpass for eight, Route 81 the Highway. And I'm sitting there looking at these pigeons under the underpass, and I could have swore one of my birds was under the underpass with the rest of the pigeons. It was a, a brown and white. It looked just like the old Danish... What, the Danish tipplers I had back in the day, where a couple of them had disappeared while they were flying, and I think that that was one of them. It was about 10, 15 miles from here. Who knows? But I was like, that is <laughs> sitting there looking around. That's one of my birds. I almost, you know, almost believe it really was, and it could have been. Lord knows they've they've been all over the place. Some of my whites really traveled far away. I don't know why, but they did. But that's what I got going on right now. Just a small upgrade to my pigeon loft. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep them from having babies on the floor anymore because 
There was four that were actually hatched on the floor. I mean, they're doing great. I'm just look. They're doing great. Those two are there moving all over the place today. And the ones that were born in this bowl, they keep hiding up back in here, as you can see. And they're all over the place too. Try to put my hands on them more so they get more custom to me. These other ones are kind of flighty. But all my babies I've been getting my hands on, holding them and talking sweet nothings in their ear. You know how that goes. Thanks for not giving up on me. Um, appreciate all the subscribers. Appreciate all the advice. My buddies John over there at Hands Flight Kit Box, Peter Ramen, Polly over on the Go Loft, White House Loft, uh, Rocky Ridge Kennel and Loft. We need to exchange puppies someday. I got puppies coming right now. They're due on at uh, latest on my birthday, which is Tuesday, June 1st. Don't be shy. You can send me a present. You can send me two presents. And uh, that's going to be Bug's last litter. We're going to have her fixed. And then we're going to be stepping into the AKC dogs, which is a whole nother level. And we've gone far with that. We've got a lot going on here at uh, Hidden Hollow Loft. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share the videos, comments. I love comments. Just try not to be too, don't be too mean to me. I can only take so much nowadays. But I'm getting ready to turn 56 years old, and I'm still hanging in there. And I appreciate you guys a whole bunch. If I forgot you, it's only because my memory is terrible. But I'll get you next time. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time here at Hidden Hollow Loft in West Virginia.